McClaskins, uh, TristateFootball.com. Head coach Josh Stratton, his Lloyd Juggernauts tonight, went 13 to nothing, defeating Walton Verona first round playoff game here on the road. Coach, uh, let's first start with your team. I mean, this is a team that you guys got beat by, 42 to 13 earlier in the season, but you can sort of sense it all, you know, these down the stretch here about the Juggernauts picking up some momentum. Especially on offense, getting together. How that how that all lead up to the night's game and the success you had here? Um, well, I mean, if you're not getting better every week, you're probably not doing your job as a coach, uh, and your kids aren't working very hard. And my kids work my kids work hard, and my coaches coach hard, and, and we've gotten better um, every week. There's no doubt about it. Thanks, you guys uh, tonight, defense was the key. I mean, like I just said, you gave up 42 points. This time, you put the big goose egg on the board. Uh, lots of big plays all over the place. You had the Brooks INT, several sacks there. Uh, I mean, what what did you guys do to adjust from the the previous time that you know to slow down that speed? Uh, you know, the power running game Walton's displayed we, this we season. We put more guys on the line of scrimmage. We put bigger. You know, there. You know, Chris Shagney, who a lot of people don't talk about, is an outstanding lineman. He's our center, and he didn't play defense until I want to say the Holy Cross game. So they didn't even see him on defense. You know, now you know we had, he's a kid that you know he's a bigger kid that we had to condition and get him in shape to play both ways. And he was too valuable on offense for us to wear him out on defense. Now he can play both ways the whole game and not miss a beat. And he's hard to block. He demands a double team, and which enabled our linebackers to, to scrape and make plays. Quarterback Dexter Smith. I mean, he really took over the second half, particularly in the fourth quarter. Some big runs. You had a big play on fourth and three. You guys went for it, and then you got an 11-yard touchdown past the first score of the game. Uh, you know, talk to us about the decision there, and you know, really what the play call was. It's a play that we should have ran against Bellevue for the two-point conversion last week. <laughs> and, and we hadn't practiced it enough, and I don't want to. I don't want to run something in a game that we don't practice because I don't want. You know, my, our job is to prepare our kids and put them in the best position to be successful, and that wouldn't have been doing that. So we definitely practiced that play this week. Now this, this year, year, this year, first season at the school. Absolutely. I mean, what things have been most important to you to instill in these guys? Um, just a just a family atmosphere. Uh, you know freshman to senior I want those guys to hang out to be together to believe in each other and work ethic you know we we condition you know every Monday Tuesday and Wednesday hard you know, we get after it. we hit three days a week in full pads um, you know I bring them in at, at the at when the rooster crows on Saturday morning to watch film and, and not one kid misses you know and it's I reward you know just reward hard work and attendance and, and we're changing the culture you know we want to I want them to be known as a tough physical football team and bottom line is we're the smallest team in northern Kentucky you know we don't have big linemen you know we don't have a big 200 pound back we don't have a six foot three quarterback he's what is he five nine in cleats you know but but my guys have got heart and they play with lots of heart and that, that that's that, that's what I've been trying to do. Certainly made the difference here tonight. Congratulations, Coach. Uh, 13 nothing. Good luck next week. New cap. Big one on tap. We'll be following you at tristatefootball.com. Thanks.